Stakeholders have condemned the negative impact a high turnover rate of lawmakers can have in the legislature if not urgently addressed and nipped in the board. Lawmakers and others were on ground to discuss on this year's House of Representatives press call week themed high turnover of lawmakers' impact and way forward. Plus TV, Manuel Hegene completes the report. A notable trend in the nation's democratic system since the Fourth Republic is a high rate of turnover of lawmakers in both chambers of the National Assembly. From 1999 till date, the rate had increased tremendously, with a number set to soar from 130 lawmakers in the House of Representatives in 2019. Chairperson House of Representatives Press Corps Ms. Grace E.K. says the Corps chose this year's team as a way of strengthening the nation's legislature in the current democratic dispensation. In the course of our reportage, we have worked with keen interest individuals who have contributed their quota in promoting legislative system and chose to honor them today. These individuals have distinguished themselves in building and sourcing democracy in their own way. The House of Representatives Press Corps will continue to work towards promoting good governance, be objective, we will be balanced and fair in reporting parliamentary activities as we look forward to the 2023 general elections. Speaker after speaker says it is an unfortunate trend which has hampered the growth and innovation in the nation's democratic system. But you talk about executive rascality. I'm not sure that a lot of people actually know what that means. It's a very serious issue in this country. We have a situation in which governors want to do everything in this country, to take everything in this country. But it's not in the interest of Nigerian people. It is not in the interest of democracy. When a governor sits down and says, X, Y, Z person must not come back, why? You're not looking at the experience. You're not looking at the competencies. It is not about inability to perform, but probably because the face is not fine enough. Until the public perceive legislation as serving the interests of the public and not as means of primitive accumulation of works. The fierce competition to replace the legislature at every turn of general election will continue on the The high turnover of lawmakers lends its negative impact on performance of the legislature. It includes erosion of legislative stability and institutional memory to an increase in the budget for capacity building of new legislators, manpower and competence. It takes a while for a newly elected legislator to master the art and act of lawmaking, oversight and representation, which are core responsibilities integrated therein. Collectively, these factors have contributed to weakening the legislature in the current democratic order where the legislature is the supreme organ. They blame the overbearing attitude of state governors while calling for the financial and political autonomy of the local, state and federal legislature. The dominant nature of the executive determining what does, who does what, when and how. They want to determine not only those who pursue the executive but also the legislature. The development is not only anti-democracy but ingenious to development of independent legislature capable of holding the executive to account. The event ended with an award for outstanding lawmakers and staff of the Ninth National Legislative Assembly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.